I just wanted to make a video to document exactly what I did say at the Cross Plains School Board meeting on January 17th, 2018. I wrote it down, and since there's been some discrepancies, I would like to read exactly word for word what I said. And I will begin. As we come to the last few months of the 2017-2018 school year, school contracts will be signed and soon renewed. I come here again to address the same issues and some worsening issues that need to remain fresh on your mind while going over plans for the new school year. I feel like it is at a desperate time for change for the children of this district and for their parents. As for this group that is before you today, look around and see the faces of those that are having major issues with the administration at CPISD. We all face or have faced issues that have deeply impacted the daily lives of our children and ourselves in negative ways. Most of all of us have reached out for help or action and have been not only denied, but retaliated against directly through our children. This is not the first time for you to see a lot of us, and we are not going to go away. These children deserve a safe and healthy learning environment. There are currently 19 children that I personally know that live in our district but go to other surrounding schools or struggle to homeschool or have dropped out completely, and that's a telling number. That was January 17th. Today is February 1st, and we're at 28 students that don't go to school in our district. Now we're at 28. Last time I was here, my son, who is who at that time was still enrolled, or last time I was here, my son was still enrolled. Now he's going to Rising Star. He is in that school because I've tried to report the teacher bullying with a formal complaint in February of 2017. When it occurred again in October 2017, I went to file another one, and when I asked for the old one in his file, it had never been filed. Poof. Like it had never happened. Good thing I took a picture of it and sent it to the iCloud. So instead of turning in the new one, I took him out completely. I've been through the chain of command. I'm here to tell you it is deeply flawed and biased and in ill intent. There is no order, truth, and my son will not be taught this behavior by his mentors. Bentley has been wrongfully called a problem and a bad child. At Rising Star, there have been zero behavior problems. In fact, I've been told how well-mannered he is and how beat down he is. When I first stepped into Rising Star ISD, I seen children running up to the principal, hugging her legs, and I heard laughter between staff and students and immediately felt a huge difference. In the lunchroom, no one was yelling at children for talking. No one got detention for talking or detention, period. Instead, when children got a little loud, they dimmed the lights. They don't scream or punish the children for talking at lunch. The high school principal at that time wanted to address his concern because seven children were enrolled there from Cross Plains ISD. Now there are ten. And actually, by the time I'm reading this, now there's 16 kids over there. Just in a two-week period, six more. I told him our issues in a nutshell and did not feel comfortable speaking about others' issues. I do not know why this is so hard to fix. I would do whatever I could to help our school and our children. The tax increase that was passed will do our school no favors if all of our if our student population declines. And 19 students from our population, that is an extreme proportion. Keep in mind that that's just the ones that I know of. I plead for action, fairness, and truth, discipline for staff, trust that there is honest reason for all of us here tonight. It is time to reflect, and I'm truly, it's time to reflect and truly consider what has been brought to your table tonight and make the right choices to enrich our community and most importantly, our children. Our staff fails to hold themselves to standards that they expect from the children 
basic expectations. This is obviously becoming a widespread issue. It is no longer just a few. Now it is many. Incompetence is obvious. If, in, if not incompetence, then major moral and morale issues are at hand. I pray this meeting brings forth true change and awareness and not more poisoning retaliation by staff against parents and children. Some of these issues are undeniable, increasingly disturbing, and are hurting us all. I'm asking as being of a solution for the appointment of parents that are here in this room tonight to form a committee with two board members to list the concerns that we have in formal presentation by the committee to be made to the board. Thank you for your time and attendance. That is exactly, word for word, what I said at the 2017, 2018, January 17th school board meeting. Sounds, doesn't sound like I was trying to make a ruckus. It sounds like I'm begging for people to be held accountable.